and welcome to a bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where Mark and I are continuing our run of attempting the Friday Times crossword um, on the basis that it's often the hardest of the week, as indeed is proved this week. Let me show you. Let's, let's go to the snitch for today. So this is the snitch rating. It's this unofficial way that the, um, that the internet has, I suppose, of grading Times crosswords. Um, and you can see that today's snitch is 120, with 100 basically being the average times crossword. Um, and if we scroll down a little bit, you can see in the crossword archive. So this is this week. So you can see this is by far the hardest puzzle of this week. It's almost, well, it's almost the hardest puzzle of the last two weeks. There was last Thursday's puzzle, which I remember was a very good puzzle. And um, that's that was slightly more difficult. Now, if we go to... Um, detail and results. I've got to be careful here because I don't want to see any answers from this puzzle. I don't think this gives answers. No, but this gives us a list of very good solvers. So in fact, Matthew Marcus was quicker on this puzzle than his average time, which is incredibly good given this puzzle seems to be difficult. Most people are around their average actually, aren't they? Um, Tom Stubbs out there at 20 minutes. Okay, there's going to be something in this. Tom's a very good solver. Um, so so there must be something about today's puzzle that's that's tricky at least. But anyway, I want to shout out my friend Alistair, who is on gardening leave at the moment. Very intelligent guy and has uh, decided he wants to learn how to solve cryptic crosswords. Well, Alistair, I hope you are watching this. You said you were going to. Um, and with that, let's get cracking. And let's see if uh, I can talk you through this puzzle. Um, is that in the right place? I think we're all good. So dad succeeded inflating tire. Delightful. My first thought there was pastoral on the basis that dad was par and succeeded can be S. Delightful. Um, hmm, per, hmm, what could that be? I don't know. I'm quite tempted by the P at the start of one down. Club's founder has single out a slow burner. Ooh. Pay, ooh, I don't know what that is. I think that's not a good start, is it? Suffer consequences of poison gas at mine. Suffer consequences of poison gas at mine. Poison gas could be like carbon monoxide, CO. Cop it. There we go. Okay, so we, we backed into that one by having no clue what the answer was, thinking that poison gas might be carbon monoxide, and that got us it because then I could see how suffer the consequences of something could be cop it, and of course, a mine is a pit. So let's see if we can use these letters. So, succession sometimes, uh, <laughs> one of the greatest shows on televi in television history, um, but that doesn't seem to fit in five letters. Succession sometimes. Oh, linked to throne. Hmm. Okay. Is this going to be all about the coronation? We've got, we've got obviously the king. The coronation of King Charles the Third is happening tomorrow, at eleven o'clock UK time. Um, linked to throne. I don't know. Or well, it sounds like it might be crown, but I don't know why it would be crown. He, for one, well, that's an article. Pronoun. Pro pronoun. Or he could be he, helium, must be supported by the pronouns. Oh, yeah, okay. So he is a pronoun. Add an abbreviation for church. There are two that come up in crosswords a lot. CE for Church of England and CH for just church, as you might see on an ordnance survey map. Um, and that gives us pronounce, which, of course, if you state something, you do pronounce it. Eight down. Jolly Yankee making pact. Okay, I have got this. All right, so the way I got this was by being familiar with the international radio code words for the letters. Now, Yankee is is Y. So I'm immediately thinking, if Yankee is Y, where is the Y appearing in this clue? Well, it, it feels like it has to be at the end, doesn't it? Because we've got a T at the beginning. Yeah, isn't, there's no words here that suggest Yankees appearing in the middle of a word. So we're looking for a word that looks like this, that probably means packed, because we're going to have a five letter word that means jolly, followed by Yankee making a pact. And the answer's obviously got to be treaty. A treat is a jolly, as in a trip you might go on, that's, that's good fun. 
Now, unfortunately, all of the letters we've earned from the, the answers we've got don't look very useful. Possibly 12 across this ending in T. Associate with Tory type. OK, I have got that. So Tory is a conservative. Conservative is a con. That's often an abbreviation. A type is a sort. Put that together, we get consort. If you associate with someone, you consort with them. Um, so this still looks like crown, doesn't it? Let's try five down. Might have a C in it. Sound made by entry, one short ring. So it sounds like it, well, it feels like it's a homophone of some sort. So a word that is spelt differently. That's the way it sounds. There's lots of rattling going on. Apologies, that's because I've got my window open today and try to get some air into my office. Let's try, oh, see, it is a puzzle all about the coronation. So what can go with coronation? Chicken? Chicken a la sadly inadequate royal dish. I don't know. Um, what can go with coronation? Sadly inadequate royal dish. Chicken a la duck. Um, I don't know. My my lack of culinary knowledge is going to show me up here. Um, hmm. I mean, it feels like it's the name of a royal dish. I quite like ala in the middle. If that would give me an, probably an al ending, unless it's codicil or something. Um, sound made by entry. One short ring. No, okay, let's try 10 across. Business set up with graduate function. Hmm. Business set up with graduate function. Whenever I see function in a cryptic crossword clue, my mind always goes to trigonometry and functions. <laughs> uh, so I'm thinking cos, sine, tan, you know. Um, but I can't see how to really how to really employ that here graduate well, that's going to be normally a BA or an MA somebody who's graduated from university a business I don't know goodness goodness me okay so let's try 14 down wagging tail wagging can be an anagram indicator if something wags it sort of shuffles about doesn't it tail one soon being cut off isolation or something is that right I'm, I'm thinking the reason I'm thinking isolation is that one can be the letter I as in the Roman numeral for the number one and that feels like it's the right anagram fodder for isolation um, now unfortunately again look at these awful letters we're getting in the checking positions just nothing useful we'll see if we can get this long one coronation on TV does this end in street I'm wondering place on board Oh, it's, it's a Monopoly board. This is going to be something street. Um, unfortunately, the only Monopoly I've been playing recently is Super Mario Monopoly, which probably doesn't have the name of this street on it. Place on board, meeting for spells, Coventry Street. A meeting for spells is a witch's coven. To sample is to try, and coronation on TV is Coronation Street. Is that the oldest soap opera in the world? It might well be. OK, look, what have we got going on in three down then? Pass fellow work note probably ends in me uh, because that is a musical note. It's, uh, again, if you see note in cryptic crosswords, be familiar with the fact that it might not just be A, B, C, D, E, F and G, which are musical notes, but each of the notes do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do have their own spelling. Um, and some of them are useful, like me. Pass fellow work note. So if it was, if it meant pass, hmm, actually I don't know what that is. My brain, my brain is not telling me how to do that. Okay, let's have a look at 18 down. Bad brain, naughty brain. Must one or other travel commercially? Travel commercially? 
That's a strange phrase, isn't it? To travel commercially is to transit, must one or other. I don't know what that is, but we have got a Y at the start of 19 down. So le less experienced, younger. Solvers, no good. Solvers are you. <laughs> the constructor is referring to us uh, as the solvers, as in you solvers. No good can be NG. One hesitates to say. If you hesitate when in speaking, you might, you might say, er. Uh, when I watch back my videos, I find I say er a lot and it irritates me. Um, that's 23 across. Fine. Right. OK. Uniform. Again, it's one of these international code radio code words. So this could be you. Find. It's going to be something like unearth. By Thursday. Um, find. By Thursday. Thursday is what? T-H-U-R, perhaps? Hmm, find... Uh, I want that to be unearthed. I suppose, okay, it, something's by something, it's near it, isn't it? And then Thursday probably can just have the abbreviation T-H rather than T-H-U, so that gives us unearth. Right, what's this, something like itch or etchings, maybe? burning most of the other newspaper in box burning itchy itchiest or something most of the other new most of the other Newspaper. I mean, there is a newspaper called the Eye, isn't there? I think a chest. I can see. If something is bur burning most. If something burns the most, it is the itchiest thing. So that's difficult, isn't it? So the the, the definition here is burning most. And I think of is being used as a link here. I think the other is being refer is referring to sex i think i think the other is a euphemism for sex isn't it i'm trying to think of a phrase where that might work and i'm failing but i think the other can be a euphemism for sex so and sex can be it as in to do it and then we've got chest which is box with newspaper the newspaper is the eye newspaper inside to give itchiest very difficult right meg's younger sister okay is this little women or something in carriage turned red or white I'm trying to think of the names of the little women was it amy joe meg's younger sister in carriage turning red or white royal Is red or white royal? I don't know. Let's try 26 across. United, that could be you. At home, in. Triumphed, we hear. Okay, well, triumphed is... If, if you tri triumphed, you won. W-O-N. We understand is referring to the fact we need to make that a homophone. So how could we spell... Or how could... The, if we say the word one, obviously that sounds identical to the number one but is spelt completely differently so what if we're at home we're in triumphed w-o-n sounds exactly the same as o-n-e uh, and in one means united so this isn't royal megs rioca oh it is joe okay so how's this working so meg's younger sister is joe from little women Joe gets put in air for carriage. Your carriage might be the way you hold yourself, your air. And that all gets turned. And red or white, Rioja can be a white wine, although it's probably more familiar to most of us as a red. Um, so then we try 15 down. English think it's somehow befitting a queen to be. K OK. 
Camilla is already the queen, isn't she? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, English think. Well, English can be E. Think can be lots of things. Oh, think it is an anagram, though. Befitting a queen to be. Oh, ah, something. So Bit Defender is carrying out some improvements. This is an anagram of E think it's. And it means befitting a, a queen to be. Um, and I should just be able to write it in, but I can't. Ki oh, a queen to be, kittenish. A queen is a cat, isn't it? Oh, okay, I was not thinking about cats. Um, kittenish, I think, is the answer. So it's an anagram of E think it's. Now, what's this one? Again, we do this every week, but I do recommend it. Try and look at the letters without looking at the clue. Can you get it? Or can you at least torch something, earth something? Can we get it? The short answer is no. <laughs> Let's have a look at it. So, oh, parade will be March then. March past, maybe? That's certainly something that probably they have at the coronation. Um, parade for review is, is a March past. Now a new month has begun. Well, if March has gone past, a new month would be being begun. Why is a new... So now, now Bit Defender is telling me a new device has been detected. No, not now. Now it's trying to restart my device, which is not good in the middle of a video. Um, okay, we've got an M at the end of this one. Must one or other travel commercially? Is, it, is there a transom carriage or something like that? Must one or other travel commercially? Oh, well, this looks like it ends in ing, which would give me an I. Tourism, is that travelling commercially? Ew, goodness, okay, it is tourism. It's a very strange anagram here, I think. Must, one again is being used for the Roman numeral for the number one. An or. Now, if you take the letters of must I, sorry, when I said one, I mean I is being used as, as, as a synonym for one. Must I and or. If we take those in an other way, they would, um, they would be anagrammed and travel commercially as tourism. Now, look at this. This is the fir about the first checking letter that I really have got excited about. A U at the end of 21 across. Keep flat after pal unexpect plateau. Leaves, yes. Okay. I suppose if something does keep flat, it does plateau. I was thinking of a flat as a flat as in a flatland, and I was wondering what the word keep was was doing in the clue. But if you keep something flat, if something does keep flat, it would plateau. So how does this work from a, um, a, a wordplay perspective? So after the word pal is anagrammed, so it's treated unexpectedly, we get leaves. Well, types of leaves are tea leaves. And U for university gives us the plateau. So again, once we got this U, we were basically there in terms of 21 across. And 20 down, we also get quite a useful letter. Um, Self-assurance, mm, ego, of reflective secretary. Uh, well, a PA is a secretary, and a reflective secretary is probably a reversed PA. So I'm thinking self-assurance, aplomb, I'm thinking. Shot up. A shot up in tennis is a lob. If we put M for minutes in that, we get aplomb with the correct spelling. Now, what's this going to be? Banjo? Probably not, because that would break this one. Unless, well, that was Erato, the muse, perhaps. But let's see. Um, ribbons required for Auburn Scepter. Another coronation-related clue. Ribbons. Bands? Yeah, it is bands. So there's normally one of these clues in every Times crossword. Be on the lookout for them. I think when you start to solve cryptic crosswords, these are the ones that appeal to you because, you know, you can you can solve them. And if if you look inside the letters of Orb and Scepter, you can see spelt out B-A-N-D-S, bands, which is the answer. So the, the word required for here is saying if we were to spell the words orb and sector we would require the letters of bands it's a slightly 
a slightly weird way that these clues work, but it, it is fair and obviously ribbons are bands. So ethos, I'm thinking now. No, oh, urns, seabirds. You might catch with nets. Um, yeah, okay, it is urns, spelt like this, which are type of seabird. I'll show you that at the end. Although, actually, I think I've got my dictionary open. Let's, let's just, I'm sure many of you know, know about the seabird, the urn, but there you go. There you go, the sea eagle. Um, now, you might catch with nets. Well, if you net something as your salary, you earn it. So this is another homophone. And the reason it's a homophone is if you catch something, you just overhear it. So it's referring to the fact that something you might catch uh, you might something you, if you hear the word earn e a r n and spell it differently, you could get e r n e s. So what's this then? Orienting it must be. It's or onion something. Orienting I'm guessing. Adjusting would be orienting, wouldn't it? One stops all owner occupiers presumably. Zero renting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, so one again is another opportunity for us to realize that the letter i is synonymous in cryptic crosswords with the, with the word one that's this i here and that's stopping which means it's inside it's corking if you like that if you stop something you stop the flow of it so the i is inside all owner if 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 a country was full of people who all owned their house, there would be zero people renting. Now, obviously, there is a question there about whether O and zero are synonymous, but they are treated as such because and I showed you this the other day on one of these videos. If we if we look at the letter O and look at the various meanings of the letter O, there is an extraordinary one here. Anything round or nearly so. <laughs> So in cryptic crossword land, because the, the the number zero is 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 something that looks round or nearly so, it is treated as synonymous with an O. Um, at least I think that's how I've, that's how I've always understood that construction to to go. Oh, so this is something king, is it? Chicken a la king? Is that a word? Is that that's not a thing, is it? I think there must be a dish that's something a la king. What can go with coronet? Is it? It's not chicken a la king, is it? No, that would give me a K here. Don't ask me. Oh, pass it. If you, oh, God, it could be chicken a la king. I've never heard of that. But if you pass, if you were, if you were on a quiz show and you didn't know the answer, you might say, don't ask me. And in effect, you would be passing. And that would justify a K look in 13 across. So let's see if we can understand the rest of it. A fellow is a don at university. If you were a, a, an item of work is a task and me was the, the musical note to give us don't ask me. So can we justify an N at the end of four down? Doctor's offspring could be son to press charges. Oh, to pr doctor surgeon. Yes. That's a lovely, absolutely lovely wording of this clue. I, I really, really admire constructors who can do this because the phrase to press charges is so, it trips off the tongue, doesn't it? We don't think about it. it to press charges, it, it means something to all of us. And yet here, the constructor has taken that phrase and used it in a very original and absolutely beautiful way. Uh, this is my favourite clue of this puzzle and it, that may seem this is a clue I think for the connoisseurs of cryptic crosswords let me explain how this works a doctor is a surgeon so doctor is the definition offspring is a son and the verb a verb to press if you press somebody you urge them and that is charging it's filling um, the word for offspring so, and you might say, charge your glasses. What you mean there is fill your glasses. So charge and fill are synonymous. Um, so the offspring is being filled with a word that means press. 
and that gives a surgeon it's apps that's really I like I really like that um, turn across oh this was the business I don't know ruddy gore or something I don't know business rigmarole oh set up if you, if you set something up you rig it a gra her graduate is an MA, which we said was an option, and a function is a role, and that gives us rigmarole, which is a business. So what's this one? Oh, it's not crown now. A succession is a chain? <laughs> okay, that's a funny one. That's a funny one, because a throne, we're not talking about the king's throne here at least not the one in Westminster Abbey. Uh, we're talking about the fact that throne is a euphemism for a toilet. And if you have a toilet, you might flush the chain. <laughs> so something that's linked with a toilet, is lit, as in literally linked to it, is a chain. Uh, or, I mean, and linked, obviously, a chain link is a, is, I think there's another sort of slight reference there. That's a lovely clue. Succession, obviously a chain of something is a succession of things. So I can't think this is not chicken a la king now. What what I still want to do though before I submit this puzzle is I want to understand the word play. So what can go with coronation? Is that chicken? Sadly, alas. Oh. Oh, sadly inadequate. Okay, so that's most of the word uh sadly. So most of the word uh, alas, because it's inadequate. A royal is a king, and there must be a dish called chicken a la king, which I, I've never heard of. So is this logical? Five down? No. Sound made by entry. So, oh, so if, I suppose if something, if, if, you know, if something is sound, it is logical. Short, okay, short ring. If you call someone on the telephone, you would ring them. If we take a short form of that word, we would chop its end off. So that gives us the ending. One, again, being used for I. So we just, oh, and an entry in a, in a, a book would be a log. So log equal gives us logical, which is sound. So what's this one then? Uh, I was about to say ground cell, but that would not be spelt like that. Um, oh, come on, Simon, you're a useless man. I don't know. Well, let's all right. Let's have a look. We're going to actually. Oh, paradisal. Okay, I wasn't thinking of paradisal. Um, paradisal. Now, why is this the answer? The only reason I think it's paradisal is I remembered that I was thinking about par, and I I remembered then when I looked at the clue that the definition was delightful. So. Ah, okay, so, so succeeded, which can be S. Let me justify that to you. So some of you, I know, are, are thinking, well, is it the case in cryptic crosswords? We talked a bit about this last week, that you can you can just take any, any word and abbreviate it to its initial. No, it is not. Only some words have valid abbreviations, and you need to find a good dictionary, like the Chambers Dictionary, to justify it. And if we look here... Now we're not going to find it, are we? But we are, we are, honestly. So a capital S abbreviates to all these things. What about a lowercase s? I'm fully expecting us to see succeeded. Now I think the reason that this, this comes is from um, family trees and hereditary. It's some sort of abbreviation from that, that, that neck of the woods. Um, so here, that's this s. So we've got par for dad. And then succeeded is inflating, it's filling again, a word for a tyre, well there's a radial tyre. Uh, don't ask me what that is because I'm absolutely rubbish at anything to do with car mechanics. Um, right, let's try two down. Diamond, diamond, okay. So be careful with diamond because can diamond be D? Certainly diamonds can be D as in bridge scoring. So the clubs are the suits of cards. Diamond heads for royal head. Oh, okay, no. All right, here, this is a very easy clue, actually. We're looking at the heads, i.e. the initial letters, of the words royal head of monarch belatedly. And if we take those, we get rom, which is a type of diamond. Um, is this one crown? This is, okay, so obviously we've got a lot of... Um, a lot of kingly references monarch to have 
something going on tomorrow. Mo oh, that's brilliant. Oh, that's brilliant. What a clue. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Right. Oh, okay. So, well, I mean, is it premature to say Monica's CR? I don't think so. Charles Rex, which is going to be um, uh, obviously the abbreviation for our new king, but was, I think, the abbreviations for past monarchs. Charles I and Charles II would have been CR. Um, so CR is the monarch. If you have something, you own it. And something going on tomorrow is a crown, because, of course... That's when King Charles is going to be, um, um, well, crowned, coronated. Um, so that that's absolutely, that is lovely. That is lovely. What an absolutely great clue. Um, so what's this one then? Do we look at this one? Oh, slow burner. Mm. Club's founder has single out pick. Pickwick, ah, Dickensian reference. <laughs> I was not expecting that either. So, um, a club's founder, you, the Pickwick Club, um, from, of course, Pickwick Papers, um, has, if you single out something, you pick it. A slow burner on a candle is a wick. That gives us Pickwick. So, is this web page at 11 across? Where maybe to find doc, as in document web page, loaded with tablet blood pressure time it's, I think it is web page but I want to understand why so BP is blood pressure time is age ah okay so we have to be very precise about where we cut this clue in half remember every clue has a definition and wordplay and we don't know which side is which but we have to divide the clue very precisely and I read it firstly as where maybe to find doc that is not the definition in this clue. The definition is where maybe to find doc loaded. As in, you were, you might find a web page loading, wouldn't you? So that's the definition. And then with has a valid abbreviation, which is W. A tablet is, well, <laughs> not in my ken, but a tablet of E is a, as in the drug E is something that you might ease and whiz. <laughs> okay, so W. E is the tablet, then blood pressure, the BP, then a time is an age, and that all gives us a web page. And I think we've filled in the whole puzzle. So we can click submit, and hopefully we will get good news. Yes. Wow, that was a great, great pleasure. I really, really like that. I admire any cryptic crossword puzzle that you know has a theme in the clues as this one did it's not easy to write good cryptic crossword clues it's even harder if you have to do it to th to a theme and we've got lots of answers which are ref referring to the coronation tomorrow and some absolutely wonderful clues nine across being spectacularly good and even well other clues like four down which is nothing to do with the coronation but um i really enjoyed that that was a great, great treat, um, and not a treaty, a treat. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments how you got on. Let me know if you got some quicker than last time. And Alistair, I certainly expect you to be commenting. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.